There's gonna be a dance today. Yeah, gonna but what time is the dance gonna be in session? Like in the evening, like in the evening, after time down, all the cattle, then they'll grab it again, and now guys will come. Today we're in Terkeka. It's just a few kilometers outside Juba, and we find ourselves in the heart of Mundari land at one of their cattle camps. The Mundari people are one of the cattle keeping tribes of South Sudan. Such cattle camps exist all across the country and here life is quite unique. From the 64 tribes in South Sudan, around or almost 90% of them are from the Nilotic group of languages, many of whom are cattle keepers. Um, so for these communities, including the Mundari, wealth is counted in cattle and not in cash. It's estimated that South Sudan livestock population is estimated around 12 million cattle and that's among the highest in Africa. And there's a joke that people say here that we have as many cattle in South Sudan as we have people in South Sudan. Yeah man, nice to meet you man. I'd say, is this Salam? Yeah, Salam, Salam, Salam. Hey, from Ghana. Kabisa Ghana. Mm. I, I don't even know what I'm saying, but uh, nice to meet you, man. <laughs> Hi! Hi! I want to look like you. I'm fine. Uh, good? Uh huh. How do I do this? I want to be like you. Okay. It's okay? Yeah. How do I do that? This one? You put this one on your face? Wow! Salam. Man, good to see you. Yay! Okay, all right. See, this one you put on your face. This one. I put this one. Where my? I put it down or? <laughs> no, can you do it? Let me see. Do it like. Okay, like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I look fresh. I think so. What's up, beautiful people? It's your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana, baby, right here in Juba, South Sudan. I mean, I'm doing this for the culture because, like I said, we're showing Africa to the world. And when you're showing Africa to the world, we always want to educate and also entertain you, right? So I came to South Sudan, I've shown you how beautiful the people are, but right now I just want to let you know that when you come to South Sudan, there is a culture that you all need to know. And the people right here, they have a name and the tribe, I don't even know. So my brother, can you come and talk to me? Uh, we, we are the Mundari people. Mundari people? Mundari. Who are the Mundari people? Um, the Mundari people are Nilotics. Okay. Yeah, oh, you, you guys live along, along there now. Yeah. The tall. We are tall, we are dark skin. Yes. Amazing. Yo, this they said this place is a cattle camp. Yes. What makes this place so special, man? Uh, actually, uh, since we are nomads, uh -huh. where we move from one place to another looking for pasture and water. Uh -huh. We have our places where every time when pasture is done here, they uh -huh. know where to go next. Like oh. now, they know where they will go next, where they can find grass and water. Uh -huh. So they are going to be here for some period of time because these cows are very many so they will finish up the grass and they will have to look for a new place to go. So from here when the grass finishes you need to move again? They have to move to another place. Wow! But there's so many cows in here, there's so many cattle. Is it for one person or for different people? It's actually, the, the cattle are for families. Oh, different families. families. Different families, yes. I, I met young kids in here that are telling me that they own a cow in here. <laughs> So these guys actually own cows in here, man. This is crazy, man. And I don't even have a cow. How many cows do you have? How many cows do you have? Gelo. And how many cows do you have? Muda. 
Gelo. So can you so can you believe that this guys? I mean, these kids own cows here, man. They are rich. Don't don't see them like this, man. Cause you know how much a car costs. Yo, yo, you own a cow. What? Yes, actually, when you are born, you are born to a family where there are cows and there are cattle. Mm -hmm. At times, your, your father will start telling you that uh, this cow is yours, this is yours, this is yours. And if you are like someone who is born like one in a family and the rest are girls and stuff, it's direct that all the cows, all cows are going to be yours when your father is gone. So, so, so which means that like, like when they give birth to a girl, does the girl has to own a cow? No, no, no. A no. girl is not qualified to own a cow. Yes, actually, the girl brings in cows more when she's married with over. Hey, hey. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, which means that here cattle is everything. Yes, it's everything. It's what you used to marry, mm -hmm. where you get food. You where when you're, you're sick, they sell to to take someone to the hospital. When you are sick, yeah, they have to take a cow, they sell it, they get money, and then they take the person to the hospital. Which means that um, you guys don't have cash. Cash, we don't have cash. You don't have but cash. If you have, we have less. We have less. Like we don't have that much. Oh, so which means you use cows for everything. Cows is everything for us here. Whoa. Yes. That's incredible. So let's say you want to pay your son's school fees. You use a cow. Yes, a cow. You sell a cow, then you send him the school fees. <laughs> I have been to so many African countries and I bet you I've never seen anything like this before. These people literally worship their cows as gods and to the extent that they don't sell the cows, neither do they eat their own cows. You know what, when I got in here, I wanted to buy a cow and give it to the community. But it was extremely difficult to buy a cow in here. I had to buy one of the most expensive cows I've ever bought in my entire life. Uh, the fact that you came with people like us, okay. because they are family members, right? okay. that's why they're making it actually cheap for you. Okay. If you are someone who came here with some other guy, so it was going to be very expensive. Very expensive for me. Yes. Right. Okay, right. so I give you 300. 300. 300. It's a brother. A brother. Yeah. <laughs> they also have a strong belief that their cattle is not worth any rich man's assets or wealth, meaning they barely eat or sell their cattle. I know most of you will be wondering if they don't eat their own cows, then what do they eat in here? The cows are mainly kept for dowry so during marriages and marriage negotiations and not necessarily for food as i tell as i told you um the cows is wealth so you're not you're not going to eat wealth instead you'll keep it so that when someone's getting married then that's where um you kind of uh, need those cows so they actually don't kill cows for food um instead uh, they'll eat the older cows or a cow that's dying or dead um, but while the cow while the cow is still alive they would use it obviously to milk uh, to milk it they also drink the blood not directly but you can um, there's a way that you can cut an art one of the arteries or veins on the neck and then just drain a bit of blood sometimes they mix it with milk and then drink that and it's quite nutritious um, also sometimes they just take the blood alone and then you heat it up and cook it and then it it changes in texture and that's also a source of food but deliberately just killing a cow for food that's not something that's very common so you're saying that girls brings more cows, which means if a girl is getting married, how many cows do you guys need to give to the person before the person gets married? Uh, <coughs> okay, during a marriage uh, ceremony, uh, uh, yeah, marriage ceremony, mm -hmm. the girl will live. In fact, our, our culture is not like other cultures where you come and uh, you be like, uh, I want your daughter and hand in marriage. Mm -hmm. It's not like that. You and your, your girl, you agree. You agree that on this day, I'll come to your house, mm. the man, mm. the man's house. Mm. So she will go there, then they will inform the family in their village that mm. uh, 
The girl has left to her husband's place. Whoa! That is how they do it. It's not like you can uh, you can ask the family that aunt married your daughter. You just come and take the girl and take it to your house. The girl goes herself alone. You don't you, go, you don't go there to get it because if you go there, you'll you'll be you'll be in problems. They will beat you up. What? They will beat you up. Wow. You know you know you can you can't come to to the girl's uh, father and you tell her that I want to marry your daughter. No. You, why why would you come and tell me? Am I are you going to marry me? <laughs> So, so you have to you have you have to talk to the girl and you'll be like, uh, this date, mm. come to my house. Wow. So the girl will prepare with some ladies, mm. then they will take her. Wow. As others remain behind to 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 tell the family that the girl has gone to a place of marriage. After now, after when the girl has gone to the man's house, mm -hmm. now the the elders will come in. Mm -hmm. Elders will come in and they'll 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 set the number of cattle they want for their daughter. So it will be like 80, 90, 100, 70. So, so which is you don't go <laughs> agreement before you get married. As soon as the girl is in your house, the family will come for their cows. They are coming for their cows. That's why girls bring more cows. <laughs> that is it. So you have a, you have girls, you are rich. Whoa. That is it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is the thing. Whoa. That's impressive. But yeah. can you take me around? There's something that I want to understand, yeah? So I want to know, what is he doing? He's actually uh, working on the hair. Okay, they do this. Actually, after doing this, you first go, the urine from the cow. When you see a cow urinating, uh -huh. you go there, you collect the urine, or you put your head, your head there, yourself. You put it there. That urine, like, colors the hair. Okay. The, the hair will come out brown. Like brownish dye, red. Dye the hair? That is dye, in fact. Okay. It is dye. Then doing this, they do this so that the hair can like, they can come out in these coils. Oh. Are you seeing? Come, come here and see these coils. Are you seeing these coils? What? So they do this. They keep on like. So they they, they start with the urine. Yeah, the okay. urine, the urine. Then they keep on doing this with the with the whatever oh, with yeah. the ash. Ash. Yeah. And that is the only treatment for it. It will come out properly. To come out properly. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Do for me. Any guy corner. When you do that, uh -huh. girls actually, ladies, you start taking you as someone who is someone who is very serious and someone who really. So hmm? you become attracted to women. You are very attractive when you have that. You are someone who cares about yourself. Whoa. Yeah. So they have to do it. And make sure you don't allow water to enter. When they pour water there, it gets spoiled. It becomes black. They don't want it to look black. They want the thing that brown, red, like brown, brown, yellow, yellow. How? What is this kid doing? Kala in the He's he's cleaning. He's removing, cleaning the cow dung, collecting the cow dung so that they can put them somewhere and dry them. Then later on, they burn them to the ashes. Then they use for smearing their bodies, and and for cleaning the cattle. Yes. When I came in here, I'm seeing people using urine to even wash their face. Yes. Why well, is it because there's no water here? At times, because water is far away from here. Like now, we don't have water near here, so okay. you can actually use the urine to wash your face. You can use when there's no water, you can use it to shower. You can use the cow urine to shower. Yeah, when you collect enough, you can use it to shower. And w when you shower with the cow urine, it doesn't affect the skin color. It doesn't affect. At all. It doesn't cause any skin disease? It doesn't. In fact, they take it as it, it cures diseases, the skin diseases. That's why they, they shower with it. Wow. Yes. That's impressive. Yeah. Try it out. Momok. Take it to yourself and then... Take it to yourself and then... And then see yourself. <laughs> this is yourself. Don't mind me. Uh-huh. Cattle are moving. Where are they going right now? They are going to the direction where, like... Mm. They are grazing where they graze from. Mm. Yeah, they have to take them to the side where there is enough grass. They go there, then like the evening hours, they return them back. They return them back? Yes. Oh, okay. So right now they are all going there. They are all going that side. At times... Salamu. Yeah. Arira. Yeah. That's okay. Nice to meet you, man. That's okay. Are you good? You're fine? I'm good. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, so right now they're going to Greece, eh? Yes. Greece. Oh, interesting. They're, they're going for... They're going... But actually, if they want to minimize on the way these cows are going to, like, finish up the pasture and stuff, 
they are going to separate. They are going to separate. Like, have you seen the other side? They are not releasing them. Yeah. They are going to release the other side and they take another direction. I see. They will release those ones and they will go this side, then these ones go this side. Once all the cattle go out for grazing, that is when the real music and dance begins. Oh my goodness. Believe me or not, this was the best day of my life. Just to see stress-free, people just having fun, enjoying themselves was a whole new experience to me that I didn't want to leave this place. Literally, when I go here, it's full of love, man. I, I, I'm just like their own son. That's never my life. Come on, like, ah, ah, ah. 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 Come on, do money. Yo, so I mean, they live here, kind of friendly people. I've been with them. I wanted to dress like them and look like them, and the experience has been so beautiful, man. Can I, can I have a handshake? Handshake, handshake. Check my blow. Check my blow. Yeah. Okay. Give me. All right. Okay. I mean, let's go. Yeah, man. This is how it is here in the cattle camp. You know what? They're living their best life, man. These people you see right here are super rich. Don't underestimate them because they got over 500,000 cows in here, and everyone in here got their own cows. So I just wanted to share this with you. So if you don't know, now you know. So help me educate somebody else by liking this video and don't forget to share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's your favorite village boy, Mr. Gara, baby. Can we all say bye-bye? Hey, they don't understand. But, hey. <laughs> ah.